Hello, bonjour, ane wache. My name is Dr. Aaron Pelche, and I'm a family physician with a special interest in cancer. I work for our North East Regional Cancer Program to be the voice for First Nation, Métis, Inuit, and Urban Indigenous peoples. I've probably been to your community or have spoken to some of your health center staff since I started this work in September of 2019. I've heard from many people about what's important to them. And today, in this short video, I want to talk to you about what's important about screening for lung cancer. I've made these videos on different topics that you have asked to hear about, and I hope you find them helpful. Be sure to look at the rest of my videos about what is cancer, screening for breast, colorectal, and cervical cancer. I've also included how to get more information at the end of every video. Let's start with what is lung cancer? Lung cancer happens when cells in your lung grow more quickly and differently than other cells. This can create changes in your lung, such as a tumor, that you can't see, feel, or know is there. Lung cancer is one of the most common cancers and is the leading cause of cancer death in Ontario. What concerns me is that for First Nations people, the incidence and death rate from lung cancer is higher than non-Indigenous people in Ontario. The reason so many people die from lung cancer is that by the time it's usually found, the cancer has spread to other parts of the body or it's too big. When the cancer has spread or is too big, treatment has less of a chance of working. If you are at high risk of getting lung cancer, getting screened regularly can greatly lower your risk of dying from lung cancer. Lung cancer screening is not yet available everywhere in the province. Health Sciences North in Sudbury is one of the hospitals that has been chosen to do lung cancer screening. Lung cancer screening is only for people who are at high risk of getting lung cancer. So what does that mean? You may qualify for lung cancer screening if you are 55 to 74 years old and have smoked cigarettes daily for at least 20 years in total, even if you're not smoking now. If you answer yes to both of these questions, you can be referred to the screening program. That's step one. Step two is when a screening navigator calls you to ask more detailed information about your health. These questions, like your smoking history, your family history, and others, will help the navigator find if you are at high risk. If you are at high risk, based on the program's questions, you'll be offered a special type of scan. This test is called a low-dose CT scan. During the scan, you lie on an open table that passes through a large donut-shaped machine called a scanner. The scanner uses a small amount of radiation to take detailed pictures of your lungs. The test only takes a few minutes and is not painful. There is no preparation before the test. There are no medications or needles given during the test. If you are a smoker and would like to quit during your appointment time, the navigator will talk to you about support that is available to help you be successful in stopping. You do not have to quit smoking to get screened for lung cancer. This is optional. After your scan, a doctor who specializes in x-rays will look at your lung pictures for any changes. Both you and your healthcare provider will get the results of the test. If your test is normal, which means no changes were seen, you will be given an appointment for your next screening in one year. If your test is abnormal, which means changes were seen, the navigator will arrange for you to have more tests done and let your healthcare provider know. Not all changes in your lungs are cancer, but going for extra tests to be sure is very important. Besides screening, there are other things you can do to keep your lungs healthy and lower your risk of lung cancer. The most important thing to reduce your risk is not to smoke commercial tobacco. The more you smoke, and the longer you smoke, the greater your risk is for lung cancer. 
Smoking is linked to many types of cancers and other diseases. There is no safe kind of commercial tobacco product and no safe amount of smoking. It's never too late to benefit from becoming smoke-free. If you are already a non-smoker, keep yourself safe by avoiding exposure to other people's commercial tobacco smoke or secondhand smoke. Also, protect yourself from risk factors in your environment that can damage your lungs and increase your chance of lung cancer. These can be things like air pollution, radon gas, and asbestos. At work, make sure you use your protective equipment if you are exposed to materials that can cause lung cancer. Always remember that healthy living, like we talked about in my first video, may lower your chance of getting lung cancer, as well as many other diseases. I hope you will take the next step and talk to your healthcare provider about lung cancer screening. Thanks for watching. To get more information about cancer, lung cancer screening, or other programs, you can contact me at northeastcancerscreening at hsnsudbury.ca.